So I want to have a little review about the uh, Apple AirPods that I have. Apple AirPod Pros to be exact. I've had two of them over the last three years, I believe. So now I'm on my new set I had to buy last year after the first set uh, basically went defunct. And uh, I was having some issues this morning with my AirPods not connecting to my phone. AirPod Pros. So I was just wondering if anybody else has that issue. And uh, I've definitely noticed that I've been having more issues when I've been going to the gym, which is like a 10 minute drive. Uh, when it sits in the truck, when it's cold, and uh, then they just don't want to connect. So I've been having issues with that. And anytime that happens, I hook it up to a charger and uh, that seems to help because the cold just drains the battery on my uh, uh, case uh, by, by a ton anytime it's exposed to cold. So I figured I'd try that again and it worked uh, before I left for work today. The uh, AirPod Pros charged and they connected to my phone again. But this morning they left me stranded and I could not connect. So that was kind of the you know, an ongoing issue, but this was definitely exemplified today. So the next problem I'm having with, and this happens to both, uh, both sets, my left AirPod is, uh, making like whirring sounds or, or almost, uh, in, in the new one, it's vibrating. So it's like a kind of a weird sound. Um, uh, when it's cold, when it's not even warmed up. Basically cold, I mean when it's not in your ear warmed up to ear body temperature. So it, it makes like a vibrating noise with the drum in there. And uh, that lasts for about 15 to 20 minutes before it's warmed up. And then on my old set of AirPods, the left ear just basically doesn't work. It, uh, I don't know if it's cause it's been dropped too, too many times or what's going on. But the, uh, the uh, AirPod itself makes like a white noise, basically. And it fails to work. So I can't even use that set anymore. And I, I use these AirPods a lot daily. I would say for sure daily, um, especially in the spring, summer, fall when I'm mowing. I mean, they're getting used eight hours a day uh, while mowing. I would say anywhere from five to eight hours. So, with that being said, they get a lot of use. My newer ones I had to order this summer because my older ones, like I said, went defunct. You know, I'd have issues. I would have major issues uh, connecting, connecting those old AirPod Pros to my phone, whether they were warmed up or they were cold. And, and you know, they were two years old at that point, so I just had to go and get new AirPods, basically. So I ordered them. I think they're on sale for 180, which is still a lot of money for you know something you put in your ear. But it does provide me with uh, protection, ear protection, when I'm on a mower, and it actually works really well compared to uh, a Dewalt or, or some sort of other over-the-ear, you know, uh, AirPod system. So essentially, I. Uh, I got this new set, was having no problems until about, I don't know, two months ago. So they were only maybe six months old. And uh, I started to have issues with the AirPods basically connecting and uh, issues with the AirPods providing me with clear sound. So I'd get that whooshing noise with the old ones and now with the new ones, I would get this uh, sort of like heavy vibration where it was almost hurting my ears and like I said they get a lot of use but I wouldn't think I would have this issue you know after six months I would think that I would have this issue I mean two years three years you know you pay all that money for something you expect it to last and and of course everything happens outside of the one year warranty on it but now with with this issue I've been having with the connection and the vibration in the ears, I'm gonna reach out to Apple and try to get some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of resolution here. 
so I can, you know, get a new pair, basically. I mean, I'm just sick of dealing with AirPod issues. And, and the fact of the matter is, I'm paying a lot of money for this product, and if it keeps on failing me, or, or I've been having issues with it constantly, then why am I buying this product consistently, you know, I mean, if this vibration problem gets any worse, out of warranty, then I'm going to have to buy another AirPod Pros for uh, my uh, uh, work, basically, and, and play as well, but uh, I hope I can get this problem resolved, if I do have to buy another AirPod, I'm hoping that I can, uh, you know, buy a refreshed model <laughs> basically and not have these issues so these are all airpod pro first gens that i've been buying so hopefully i don't uh, have to buy that again if i have to buy another set of airpods so uh with that being said you know they're a good product but i just think i could get a little bit more for the money now, where they excel at is air, uh, uh, air, uh, ear noise. Like the actual noise in your ears is great. The the ambient sound is basically washed away. The active noise canceling is pretty much perfect. You know, I could sit on a basically a commercial mower is what I have for work, and uh, I don't have to worry about the noise at all. Zero, like nothing. I don't have to worry about it at all. And I can have those AirPods on a quarter uh, volume or half volume, and I can hear the noise perfectly. So with that being said, um, I do have to say, when it comes to overall sound quality, it is perfect. I mean, just perfect. When it comes to overall build quality, I would say that's really good as well. Um, where they where, where they are lacking is the software updating is the is the internal quality of, of components possibly and uh, that's kind of why I've been having these issues so if these products were made to last a little longer then I would be completely happy and if I wasn't having these issues where I'm consistently having to charge them in order to uh, keep the battery up or or in order just to connect to the device I would uh, be pretty happy so basically that's just my little overview of the airpod pros um, you know it is what it is there, there's a lot of there's a lot of choices out there for in-ear active noise canceling uh, ear pods and I just chose airpods essentially because I love Apple products. I have a MacBook, I have my iPad, I have my iPhone, I have my AirPods. Everything just syncs to uh, basically one thing. And that's what I like about it. That's why I like Apple products. They all sync to one and uh, they're all in one and they all connect very easily. So do a little research. I mean, yes, do I, if you're an iPhone or an Apple user, it makes logical sense to go with AirPods. So, um, don't let this dis discern you from buying Apple AirPods. Uh, I would still definitely recommend them, although I'm just having some small issues and hopefully when I get in contact with, uh, Apple care or Apple service that they can kind of help me out a little bit here.